of stress, SOD, glutathione, these are other types of very, very endogenous inside the cell type of antioxidants versus the exogenous or external type of uh, antioxidants that you take your blueberries and strawberries which are great but uh, they're kind of limited in what they kind of do by a ratio of about one to a million. So today we're going to talk about autism. You know, this is really something that I've seen over the last 30 years of my practice in terms of just exploding. And uh, I'm sure there's a genetic factor, but as we you know, discuss on my TV show and as we've discussed here, a landmark study in the New England Journal of Medicine in 2001 uh, pretty much put that to rest. There was this old type of you know, thinking, is it nature, is it nurture, is it your genes, is it the environment? And they pretty much put to rest and subsequent studies have shown that it's actually the epigenetics, it's the outside, 90% of your health and wellness is due to things that, which is the great news, that we have control over. 10% is due to genetics and that has a factor to play. But it's not what the media plays and people that want to become victims, oh well you know I have these bad genes. Sure, that has a factor but as we've talked about uh, with Protandem, a Nerve 2 activator, is that we're able to actually regulate, mod modulate, up and down regulate different types of genes to, and actually fix them and we've talked about that on my TV show. So autism has just been kind of crazy. I've, I've had great results of course from using functional medicine versus the typical type of over medication that doesn't work. But I wanted to kind of just go over uh, you know, some of the factors that oxidative stress is an important factor and that's what's so exciting to me is having this very rich scientific type of product that deals right to the core inside the cell a million times more effective than regular types of other antioxidants in getting to oxidative stress. So in this article here uh, that was published in Nutrition and Metabolic Insights 2009, decreased serum copper zinc SOD in children with autism. And so they've over time trying to figure out what's going on with these individuals. Very, very difficult behavior, learning, it's just, I mean, it's just a nightmare, nightmare for everything. And like I said, uh, modern medicine doesn't really offer anything, where functional medicine offers a lot. And in this article here showed that SOD of autistic children with uh, significant lower, were, was significant lower uh, in that factor. So their oxidative, once again, their particular type of, you know, problem with different types of oxidative stress uh, or, or SOD, which would decrease oxidative stress, their SOD is lower. So if we're able to increase it, and we know that uh, Protandem is able to reduce the oxidative stress between 40 to 70 percent in about 30 days. So a very, very important part of that help. Another article here in Life Sciences 2004. Once again, these are all peer-reviewed medical journals. This isn't just my opinion or what some drug rep comes into your drug doctor with. And in this study showing that, we, you know, they basically, you know, autism is a neurological disorder of children with poorly understood etiology, the cause, and pathology. So it's really still of a quandary. Uh, but what they were able to looking at, understanding that oxidative stress is the root of almost over 200 diseases. They looked at that and they found out, in fact, that liperoxide status in children with autism was definitely a problem. Is that increased, this is their quotation, uh, increased oxidative stress may have pathological role in autism. So the, the story just continues is that oxidative stress is a very major component of lots of diseases and autism is one of them. Here in American Journal of Genetic uh, uh, and Neuropsychiatric uh, Genetics, uh, December 2008, is that uh, aut autism is a behavioral defined neurodevelopmental disorder usually diagnosed early in childhood that is characterized by impairment of reciprocal communication, speech, repetitive behavior, and social withdrawal. So that pretty much gives a nice little overview of what autism is. Uh, both, although both genetic and environmental factors are thought to be involved, 
none have been reproducibly identified. And so that's what the science is showing is that oxidative stress is starting to be reproducible and is a factor. And this study goes on to terms of looking at a particular type of antioxidant called glutathione, a master antioxidant, and showing had profound differences between autistic children and, quote, normal children. And the last study here from uh, Arizona State University, new therapies hold promise as autism treatments. So once again, this is a leading institution, not a, not a health food store, not a vitamin shop, uh, not some grandma in the back, back uh, closet there, something like that, is that they say two promising new treatments to aid people with autism have shown effectiveness in pilot studies conducted at the at Arizona State University. And those particular two factors are happen to do with methylation, which is a type of compound, CH3, and we've talked a lot about a certain particular type of methylated compounds like B6, B12, trimethylglycine. These are all methylators, which have profound effect not only on autism but heart disease. Uh, glutathione, as we know, proteanum is increased, able to increase up to 390% glutathione. And I, I actually had a little chuckle, a little offside, is that there's a number of products out there which are good, they're whey products, and I do advocate that for other problems, uh, that, is that they were able to boast, and they were very excited because it is supported by science, that, that with certain whey products, and it has to be high quality, was able to increase glutathione by 64%. Hmm, 64, 390, I know this is high math, but 390 is a lot bigger mm -hmm. than 64. So that's an important factor. So methylation, glutathione, and mitochondrial functions. Now this is something that really has been pioneered in functional medicine. This is something that most drug doctors have the kind of the, the deer with the, with the bright lights in their eyes. Well, mitochondrial dysfunction, well, well, what's that? Yeah, well, this is the once again, the engine of your cells. This is where all the different types of different type of metabolic disorders also originates in the mitochondrial and that becomes a factor in functional medicine or natural medicine does a very very nice path and we'll, we'll talk about that another time. Uh, so they recommended that uh, glutathione, a primary antioxidant, provides a defense against toxic metals in the body uh, and that becomes an important part in terms of uh, once again as we look as holistic doctors, autism as well as other doctors, we always look at toxins regardless of whether you have a problem with cancer, heart disease, autism, whatever it is, toxins become a big factor like that. Just like a dirty house is not a good place to live in, a dirty body is not too. So we will look at that where the medical profession pretty much overlooks that completely. So, so a couple of little updates on Protandum. Hope that's helpful. Thanks. Bye.